It finally came. It came! It finally came! <laughs> the big one. Um, the Fable Crate is a uh, books type thing. It's like um books and fantasy and all that type of genre and basically it's a subscription box. Um, I'll link the Instagram below. But yeah, basically I impulse bought it. So I haven't like subscribed to the subscription. I just bought like an, um, a random like impulse one, um, like a one-off like big box to try it out. Hi loves, welcome to my channel, welcome. If you are new, it's Cass. And yeah, I'm really excited to be sharing this with you guys. It's not at all like sponsored or anything like that. I paid, I think it was like $90 for this. <laughs> So a little bit steep, but it is quite heavy, so I guess it would have sent spe ugh, s cost them a bit to send it. But their stuff looks amazing anyway, so I'm sure it'll be worth it. Yeah, I really want to open it now. So basically it's a small business um, based in Australia, and there's like books and candles and all that nerdy kind of fantasy stuff and they did a subscription box so when i first found out about it like i stalked their instagram for so long just full on stalked it until i just kind of went screw it i want it <laughs> and i bought it caved and bought it but the packaging looks awesome so i'm really excited to show you guys you guys can look before i will How's it look? Woo! It says, May you touch dragonflies and stars, swim with mermaids, and talk to the moon. Oh my gosh, and even like the inside of the box, it's all like mermaids and so awesome. Okay, so it says, A touch of chaos, and it's got some information about other businesses and that's that must be tied into so i'll read that oh okay so there's a little um note here it says sorry our cute little extra autumn leaves haven't made it on time as the manufacturer can give us no information or estimated time of arrival on these we have decided to ship out all the important stuff when these arrive they'll be included in a little envelope in the July crate. Happy unboxing, the Fable Crate team. So because I'm not like a monthly subscription, like this is just a one-off, I'm not sure if I'll get that. But basically there was a little um, like one-off type thing, like a little extra thing that they included that didn't come in time. But I mean, there still seems to be a lot in this box, so that's fine. Oh, even the sticker, like, I don't want to rip it. It looks so pretty. I might angle the camera so that you guys can see a bit better as well. You're now sitting on my lap. Um, don't mind the pyjamas. Wow, that looks so good. I don't even know what half of it is, like, I don't even know what this is, but it just looks so good. Putting you back up on, um, on that so that I can steady the camera better. Okay, so there is flavoured black tea. Oh, I bet it smells good. It smells so good. It's raspberry flavoured black tea. Flames raspberry tea. That looks really good. I'm keen to try that. Flames tea essentials. Oh, this might be a tea strainer. I hope it is because I'm more of a coffee drinker. I do love tea. But the reason I don't drink it much is because, like, I stress out working out, like, how to brew it and all that. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tea strainer, thankfully. That's so cool. Oh, and I 
got a shortbread biscuit. Oh, it came with this. I might eat that soon. I'm actually really hungry. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest tea strainer I've ever seen. It's like a little like mermaid shell. Oh. I'll definitely be using that. I have like a little ceramic teapot, um, but like nothing kind of on the go like this. Like I have to use the whole pot and it can just be a lot sometimes, like especially if I'm not really, if I'm being lazy to be honest. So I don't actually have a tea strainer until now. So this is awesome. Look, it can like hook onto the side of your cup. That is so cool. It's like that thing that, you know, like I needed that I didn't know I needed until they gave it to me. That's so cool. Ooh, lip balm. That'll be really good because we are in winter, it's freezing, and my lips are dry a lot, so that'll be perfect. Mmm, it smells really good. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like vanilla or like something sweet, something really sweet. Its ingredients are coconut oil, white beeswax, sweet almond oil, olive oil, avocado oil, vitamin E, sweetener, and fragrance. That's so nice. Oh, cat washi tape! Yay! I actually had some, um, I've got some cat washi tape from Kiki K, and I'm actually running low on it so I'm being like really careful how I use it because I don't want to run out of it so this is literally perfect. Oh, she's got like black silhouette of cats. So sweet. Oh an enamel pin. Read the white act. Read the white act. Ooh, I don't really know what that means. But it's a little potion bottle. It's so cute. I love enamel pins. I actually have a denim jacket that I clip all my enamel pins to. And that's like my pin jacket. Yeah, it's good. Um, I'm thinking of like transferring my pins to a hat. Because I, I get really like scared that they're going to fall off, off the jacket. And I feel like they'd be like safer on a hat. Because I could like protect them easier or something. So I may move them. Uh, but I'll keep you updated if you guys are into that. This is so sweet. Oh, little potion bottle. Oh, it's an umbrella. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I actually don't have an umbrella at the moment. I'm not gonna open it up properly because like I'm not, I'm not like super superstitious, but like I've always kind of been told don't open an umbrella indoors. So I feel like I shouldn't do it now, but it is gorgeous. It's got like little spell books and sage. That is so pretty. Maybe I can like creep it up a tiny bit. Just like not enough to get bad luck, you know? Maybe. Not all the way, because I don't want all the luck, all the bad luck. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's got a good spring in it. That is so pretty. It's even got like crystals and moths. And cards and envelopes. It's like all like witchy kind of vibes. It is so pretty. That's the case. I'll put it back in its case off camera because I don't want you guys to have to watch me struggle with that. Oh, even the tissue paper is gorgeous. Just like to help pat it all. Oh, I don't know what to what, what to open. What's this? Light up the stars. Oh, it's a little. I think a little coaster. I think. That is gorgeous. It's a little coaster. I do, um, I drink coffee a lot. Tea I do drink, but 
Um, I drink it more in winter, actually, so, like, I will be drinking it more at the moment, especially now that I've got the raspberry tea. But, um, I do drink coffee daily, so little coaster is definitely going to come in handy so much. A journal. Anybody who knows me knows I love journals, like, love, love, love journals. Um, I make journals, too, so if you want to check out my Instagram, it's Slap's Bookstore. Um, but yeah, no, no pressure. <laughs> oh my gosh, look! What? I don't... I don't get it. Oh, it is so pretty. It's a blank journal. And it's got those compartments for your cards. And it's got like a little like key I don't think the key oh it's a pen it's a pen I was like this key looks too suspicious to be just a key it's a pen oh that is so gorgeous it's got a little bead there the elastic a oh, little charm and it says it begins with absence and desire it begins with blood and fear it begins with a discovery of witches. That is gorgeous. I love that so much. And like, I know I, I do make journals, like I make a lot of journals, but like I don't actually spend a lot of time journaling myself because I feel like I'm always making them for other people. So this is honestly perfect. It's actually so nice to receive a journal <laughs> instead of like, because I always make them. This is so gorgeous. Oh, I love it. I literally love it so much. Put the key like that. Okay, we're nearing the end. There's these cards. They look gorgeous. Oh, they're the seasons. There's it's the summer, autumn, winter, and spring. So. So a little like bit of information about each one. I won't read through all of them because, oh maybe I will. Okay, so summer is the 1st of December to the 28th of February. Summers are the rainmakers, the ones who, oh, okay, wait, 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 so, okay, so like if your birthday or something is in which season your birthday's in, I think is going to relate to you. Okay. So this on summer. Summers are the rainmakers, the ones who power pours down all over their all over their around. Your magic is big and bold. You are truly the life of the party. There is sweetness in your sunshiny disposition that can't be dulled. And even though you're not looking to be the center of attention, your magnetism is hard to escape. Dad thought it was the coolest thing in his life that I'd been born a witch about the way my mum would ask me to make it rain in the summer just so she could dance in it. That would just be about like that character. Autumn. So this is um, my season. I'm born the first day of autumn. Your magic is transitional. You adapt well and you can flow in many situations, although your power is a bit slow and not as bright as your sunny sun, sunny summer counterpart. There's no reason to, de to devalue your abilities. You simply take the time to complete your actions before forging ahead. The great protector, you are invested in others' growth and, and evolution and the epitome of saying speak softly and carry a big stick autumn is the earth just before it falls asleep that is gorgeous that is so nice the only part i don't agree with is like you can adapt well i can't adapt well but i mean i'm taking that as a personal level <laughs> the actual uh, thing itself about autumn is gorgeous winter so this is the season we're in now 
Your straightforwardness puts you in perfect position for getting things done and there's little you can't or won't do. Never, tempt, never tempted by fake niceties. You sometimes get a bad rap, but winter are good to those who respect them. Your motto, the truth hurts until you've been on the end of deception, on the other end of deception. Winter is the truest of all seasons. It's what remains after everything else is stripped away. And if you love the earth, understand it, then all the beauty is gone. And understand it when all the beauty is gone and see it is, that's magic. I, I'm not like that bad at reading, but like when I'm reading in front of people or like in front of the camera, it feels intense. So bear with me. And spring, so pretty. You are the energy of the seasonal horoscope. Serving as fuel for many, your power is one of gentleness, kindness, and patience. Just as the earth regenerates in the spring, you find your energy deeply rooted in emotions. You express yourself through anything you're passionate about. You have many purposes in life, but most importantly is to bring beauty into the world. And just when the world is certain it cannot handle another day of winter, the vernal equinox arrives and a rush of sweet rain and awakening colour. So pretty, these cards are gorgeous. This is the the card about the cards, the, the sheet about the cards, and it is called The Nature of the Witches by Rachel Griffin. And basically, yeah, she shares that like each, so I was wrong, I guess you don't take it in a personal perspective, it's each season is a witch, and then like that's about like them. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, so it's a book. All right, so it's a subscription book bo book box subscription, which I realized, and I just like because I'm like derp. I've just put two and two together. So Rachel Griffin, who's just made those beautiful cards about each season being a different witch. So she's written the book that I'm about to pull out, and it looks gorgeous. So I'm guessing those witches like come up in the book, like so I think it's like supposed to be fantasy kind of genre. So I'm guessing that they like play a part in her book, which looks amazing. And that's the full box. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And yep, yeah, the nature of witches, Rachel Griffin. And it's got like purple edging, the purple glittery edging. I always have to like, I have to like strip this off just temporarily because I love to see the underneath of a book. That is so beautiful. Yeah, I smelled it. Oh, that is so pretty. Like it's still like crunchy because of how new and crisp it is. Oh, that is gorgeous. Like, look at that. Oh, and the inside of it says, be wary of those who will let you apologize for who you are, the nature of witches. And it's her autograph as well, it was um, in the back page. That is gorgeous. This box is, I think, definitely worth... Um, <clears throat> sorry, my voice just went weird. I think this box is definitely worth the $90 I paid for it. I think if you subscribe, it doesn't quite... En it doesn't end up costing quite that much. I think this is because I did like a one-off type thing. but. Yeah, I'm gonna check out their Instagram again. I already follow them, but I'm gonna have like a closer look because I might actually subscribe. This is amazing. I actually love each and every item that I got. Like, I have no complaints at all.
I don't even know what this book's about and it's just like I'm drawn to it. It is just gorgeous. Um, I will read the the back of the book though for you just so you guys can also hear what the book's about um, in case you want to read this. For centuries, witches have maintained the climate, their power from the sun peaking in the season of their birth, but now their control is faltering as the atmosphere becomes more erratic. All hope lies with Clara, an ever witch whose rare magic is tied to every season. Oh, so it's like Avatar The Last Airbender, like she's the avatar of the seasons. In autumn, Clara wants nothing to do with her power. It's wild and volatile, and the price of her magic, losing the ones she loves, too high, despite the need to control the increasingly danger dangerous weather. In winter, the world is on the press precipice precipice of disaster. Precipice? I feel really dumb. Fire burns, storm rages, and Clara accepts that she's the only one who can make a difference. In spring, she falls for Sang, the witch training her. As her magic grows, so do her feelings, until she's terrified Sang will be the next one she loses. In summer, Clara must choose between her power and her, her happiness, her duty and the people she loves, before she loses Sang, her magic and thrusts into the world of chaos. That sounds amazing, despite me like struggling to to just like read the blurb. It sounds really really good and I will definitely be reading this. I am really excited to read this. Yeah, I 10 out of 10 guys, this this subscription box is great. If you're interested if you're thinking about uh, a nerdy subscription box for like book lovers and nerds, like this is right up your alley. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this book. I'm gonna drink my tea. I'm gonna use my tea strainer, my lip balm, the enamel pin, like that journal. It, everything is just so gorgeous. And we're in winter, and you know, like. They know, because they're an Australian business, they know that we're in winter, so they've given us an umbrella. Like, that is just so thoughtful and sweet. And I just, I love everything about this box. Yeah, please check them out. Yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If I decide to get another subscription box from them, I'll definitely be posting an unboxing again, because it was... It was just really fun. This is a really fun video for me to make. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.